This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at creating and configuring virtual storage or just managing virtual disk. And we've been talking about virtual disk, VHD, and VHDX files uh, that can be uh, utilized or are utilized by the individual virtual machines on Hyper-V. Uh, these disks can be created you know, in a couple of different ways. You can technically create them with the disk management utilities. You can create them in Hyper-V or you can use the PowerShell commands. A new VHD. So we're just going to go about doing this and using this process for our existing VM that's running. Uh, I'm going to create an additional virtual hard drive. Okay. So notice here, you know, to add uh, to add stuff when the system is running, sorry, uh, is not going to be possible. So I'm actually going to need to go and turn that off. We haven't really installed anything, uh, so we're going to turn it off. And then I'm going to go to the settings, and I will at that point be able to add additional storage. Okay. Now I don't necessarily need to do this. This is adding fiber channel adapters, SCSI controllers. I've already got two IDE controllers. So I can have a second hard drive on this main controller, and that's what we're going to do. So we hit add for hard drive. At that point, create a new virtual hard disk. We can either browse for an existing one or we can create a new one. So when you use the new one, that's where you get the new virtual hard disk wizard. Uh, VHD or VHDX, okay, so if you need uh, over two terabytes, we use VHDX. Uh, that's just a better uh, use anyway. Uh, fixed size, dynamically expanding or differencing disk, uh, my, my various options. So I'm going to use a, a fixed, well, actually use dynamically expanding. Uh, my VHD is what we'll call this. And now I can physically store that in a different location uh, if I want. So I will leave it in the same place, but you know, I can store it in a different location if you'd like. Uh, the size of this, okay. Uh, and then you also have, so this would be blank. So I mean, I can specify a size here, maximum of 64 terabytes or I can copy the contents of a particular disk. So like here's a disk that has 29 gigabytes of information on it. So I want to actually copy that one. Or here's another VHD uh, that I want to, to copy. Now we're going to create a blank one and just make it 20 gigs uh, for example purposes. So we hit next, we hit finish, it's a dynamically expanding drive, and there you have it. I mean that's the uh, ability to uh, created and now that system when booted up would have access to two drives. Again, if you want to add an additional controller, a SCSI controller is actually, whoops, we already had that. Uh, SCSI controller is going to give us the ability to add numerous drives. Um, you know, you've got <laughs> just a ton of drives that you can potentially have. Now, again, most systems, you're not going to need that many drives, but uh, we could, uh, we could potentially uh, potentially do that if if necessary. Okay, so uh, that is essentially the ability to create those VH, VHDs to map them to this system. Again, you can do it in PowerShell. You can do it in disk management directly, uh, but it, a fairly straightforward process, and that just gives us kind of the ability to to see what we had been talking about uh, and to utilize virtual storage in Hyper-V. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.